Hi everyone, AlphaZero played many amazing games against Stockfish, but in this game it actually lost in just 22 moves. So here we have Stockfish as white and AlphaZero as black. And we have a French defense, here are the book moves. And white plays this h4 move, sacrificing a pawn so that the h file is opened. Knight h3. The knight comes to h3 to keep the possibility of knight f4, though it does come to g5 in this game. Queen e7, and now queen g4. We're out of book now, and immediately white is looking at this weakness on g7. g6, this weakens some dark squares. Um, knight to g5, attacking the h7 pawn. h6, and now castles long. The knight cannot be taken because of the pin of the h file. Knight c6, and here another game of spot the weakness, c7, so Stockfish plays knight to b5. And it's quite nice how it picks apart the weaknesses in Alphazer's position. We have c7 and f7 as the main points of attack here. Knight b6, opening up the queen's defense of c7. Rook to d3, Maneuvering to f3 to attack f7. h5, attacking the queen, but now rook to f3, ignoring the threat. Because if black takes the queen, well, white will play rook takes h8 check. And after king d7, rook takes f7. Queen takes rook, knight takes f7, material balance has been restored, but look at these weak pawns and black's king feels very weak and open this bishop on c8 is a very poor piece. So after rook f3, not taking the queen but a6, and now the knight is under attack. But Stockfish just moves the queen away because, well, there's just a big threat. If a takes b5, rook takes f7. It's just super strong for white. Black may well just do best to take the rook here because, for example, queen d8, rook g7, and black's king side is absolutely collapsing. Black's probably going to get mated soon. And if you try and move the queen away to say b4, or we'll just c3. And now the queen's going to have to move off this diagonal, and it's not even there to help the king at all. After queen f4, black is probably close to getting mated. So after queen g3, uh, knight d8 to defend f7, but the knight has gone back to the first rank here, or the 8th rank. The knight moves away, knight d7, bishop d3, nice move, just, oops, sorry, a lot of pressure on black's pawns here, sorry. Yeah. Knight to f8, and look at the picture, all of black's pieces except the queen are on the back rank here, so something has gone wrong for alpha zero. Rook to h4, maneuvering to f4. It's all about this weak pawn on f7. It's the bottom of the pawn chain, so if you can get rid of f7, then g6, e6 will be weak, get rid of those pawns, d5, h5 will be weak, and then black's king side would just completely collapse. Rook g8, bishop c4. Really weird move. Looks like the bishop can just be taken, but actually after d5, there really isn't much black can do. All its pieces are on the back rank. For example, well, e takes d5, knight takes d5, followed by knight f6. Looks very powerful indeed. If you ignore the threat, or if you ignore the pawn, knight to d7, well, rook takes c4. And, yeah, look at this pawn, c7 is weak, f7 is still weak. Look at white's pieces compared to black. It really doesn't matter that um, white is down a piece. So, yes, um, so after bishop c4. Queen to d7, but the problem with queen to d7 is that now knight d7 preventing knight f6 is no longer available. So knight on c to e4 by stockfish. And after d takes e4, knight takes e4, again doesn't matter, you're down a piece. Knight f6 is such a devastating threat. Knight to h7 pretty much, or probably the only move to stop knight f6. But now rook takes h5, and here alpha zero resigned, attacking the knight. The knight can't move because of knight f6. If you take the rook, white takes your rook. 
you know, you could try queen takes d4 here as a counterattack, attacking this knight, but actually queen g4 is very powerful indeed for white. You still have this threat of rook takes h7, but now knight f6 is a discovered attack on the queen. So yes, thank you very much for watching, and yeah, in the future, if you're playing, always look for the base of a pawn chain like this, because if you put a lot of pressure on that, your opponent is going to suffer. Okay, thank you very much.